Lyoko is at the fucking boiling point <laughs> in this episode. Pff, fucking Lyoko goes absolutely fucking crazy. When you see, you know, like, see a little bit of the origins between, like, how, pretty much how it led up to her father's death with, um, Harime. And I thought that was pretty fucking beastly. Like, you see that apparently he committed a taboo that shouldn't even exist in mankind, which are the god robes. And pretty much you see the original, like, scissor swords, and that was, I guess, Harime's duty to take that, but she was too busy, you know, fucking dicking about. And because of that, she actually lost her um, one of her eyes because of that. And pretty much just ended up getting, like, extremely pissed off and started, like, freaking mutilating him. Uh... And that's pretty much where their origin stands off. And just, oh my god, when Ryoko hears it, she goes absolutely furious. And turns into like this gruesome beast kind of thing. Where Senkesu just eats her alive. And goes absolutely crazy. And it's like, it's like the head is like all twisted there. There's blood coming out. And she's going, just trying to beat the shit out of Harime. And she's not even taking this seriously. And it's even that's that bit where it's like, Sasuke and the Elite Four have got to stop Ryoko. They've got to evacuate students. And also as well, Nuda's speech on the sidelines are thinking, yeah, we got to put this bullet in freaking Ryoko. we got to put her down. Because she's going to... She's literally gone way too fucking far at this point in the episode. Like, where she does not even give a fuck anymore what happens to anyone. And it was pretty cool. Like, you see, like, freaking Sasuke and um, Ryoko just had, like, a freaking, like, fight, like, for a while. And they just start going in. But then, good old freaking Mako has to interrupt the fight. And I was like, oh, Mako, you're interrupting, like, the best part right now. Like, I really want to see a rematch between Satsuki and Ryoko. But apparently she was going to die. She had, like, not enough blood in her. And I was like, ah, oh, come on. And then Mako just literally just snapped her out of there by, like, bitch slapping Ryoko a hundred thousand billion times. Saying you're just doing the same thing as I did with the fight club. What are you doing? Like, snap out of it like that. And because of that, and there's a snap out, but Hari, um, Sasuke has, like, banned Harime from, like, ever setting foot in her school again. And pretty much a week passed from that after this incident. Like I say, that was some fucking crazy shit with that fucking shit that Ryoko pulled. And you can see Sasuke, like, freaking just smash a freaking hill uh, sword into Ryoko, saying, you, in your condition, you cannot do anything to me. And saying, during this time to concur, we're going to conquer... The West, in one week's time, we're going to be having a battle school trip. That sounds so fucking hype right now. A battle school trip. And it was just a great way just to end off like the first half of Kill the Kill. Overall, yeah, Kill the Kill has been a bumpy ride so far. But I, I think for the first half, it ended off very well. And that we just had some crazy stuff happen around right about the end. Definitely a very enjoyable episode. Let me, let me know what you think in the competition down below. But that's all for me. And once thank you very much for watching. Remember, subscribe to Sana. And see you guys next time.